Welcome to the wonderful world of StatCrunch. Once you log into my Stat Lab, you have the StatCrunch link on the left. And then you have two options. If you're using data from your textbook, you can click on the first link. If you're using your own data, you can click on the second link. Both will take you to the same place. And from here, if you have data that you want to import, you can use my data and select a file from your computer. If you already have data in your account, you can go under my results. Or if you just want to start with a blank page, you can just go straight to OpenStack Crunch. So under my stack crunch you can also go to data and any data that you uploaded you can find here so stack crunch is very user friendly let's say we want to get a count of all the students who prefer what type of computer we can go to data we can go to stat tables, frequency, select the variable that you're interested in. And as you can see, it'll appear on the left. And the default options are frequency and relative frequency. You can store your data in a new table or it'll just show a pop-up window when you press compute. So here is your frequency distribution. And here is your relative frequency distribution. You can click arrows to sort in other ways. Let's say we wanted to find our summary statistics. So let's see, we wanna know the average commute time. So we can go to summary stats, columns, select the variable, we're looking at our commute time. And as you can see, it doesn't show gender because that is a categorical variable. And here you already have some defaults that your software picks for you. If you wanna add some more, as you can see, you'll press shift and click on the option that you want or control. So we wanna add in our IQR, hold down your control button, also click that one. As you can see, it's gonna be added on this side at the very bottom. We also want to add on our mode and press compute. So as you can see for the variable commute, it gives you your sample size, your mean, your variance, your standard deviation, your standard error, median, range, min, max. Now you have to be careful with the mode because it doesn't always show if you have more than one mode, it doesn't show all of them. You can also, what well, we talked about summary stats and stats. We can do various graphs. So we go into graph, you have bar plot. Data is like we have here. Everything is listed individually, each row for each observation. If we have just a summary, so we just have the totals, like in our frequency distribution, that's what the second option is for. So, Pick the variable that you want. And the default type is frequency. You could do a relative frequency bar graph as well. Display your value above so you'll actually see the number. And here's where you can put your axis labels and title. So here our X axis label would be gender. Our Y axis label would be frequency. Our title will be gender and statistics and we press compute and here is our bar graph as you can see bar graphs do not touch we can do pie graphs pie charts as well same thing select your variable and you can look at your options the default is they show you the count and the percent we can scroll down and put our title compute 
And to get this from StatCrunch into Microsoft Word, it depends on whether you have a Mac or a PC. So if you have a PC, you can do Control Copy, and then they tell you right click, you can save it as an image, or you can copy and paste. And it's a little bit different if you have a Mac, but still just as simple. We have our histograms. Remember, histograms are only for quantitative data. That's why it doesn't show you options, gender, and residence. So if we look at commute, the default is frequency. You can create bins, so you can tell the software how you want to increment by, or you can let the software do it for you. You can get it to show markers of mean and median. And once again, we have our labels. And you press compute. And there is our histogram. So with our histograms, we can talk about the shape of our distribution and you can also compare your mean and your median in order to talk about your shape as well and as you can see if you highlight over the bars it gives you the frequency of values that lie within that particular range and then you can always press clear so that nothing is highlighted again you also have your stem and leaf plot works the same. And turn your head to the side so you can see your shape there. We have box plots. You want to make sure you always select fences so to see if there's any outliers. I personally like my box plots to be horizontal, but that doesn't matter. Same thing x-axis label y-axis label well here you're only going to have one of the labels and your title and what you can see is here we do have an outlier for the student that travels 150 minutes to class and we have a dot plot as well so Stack Crunch, very easy, very user friendly, point and click to find most of the tools that you need.